Okay guys, so uh, we got a new tutorial over here. We're still on the scene tutorial level. Just ignore everything. This is just from previous tutorials. But today, we're going to be showing you how to make an item. And we're also going to show you how to make a chest that gives you the item. So, we got to create item. The tab, where you like, you go to the top tab, there's uh, items button. Click on items. And then click this little plus. This will create a new item. And then we're going to name this item. Uh, let's just name this key. Let's just name this key. Actually, yeah, just key, just key. Do a description. This is like when you hover in your inventory, it'll tell you like what the item does. Let's just say, opens a door. It doesn't do anything right now, so it's just like a ho placeholder. Now we got image. There's no images right now. You can click this plus arrow, 16 by it's this grid. So how many pixels? Uh, less detail is 16 by 16. More detail is 32 by 32. I usually do 16 uh, plus 16 for a uh, less detail. I like mine simple. We're gonna name this, give it a name. It can be named key the same as your item because it's a whole different file, but let's draw a key real quick. Okay, that's really bad. It's really bad. Let's, let's just, oh yeah, also uh, right click is delete and then left click is to create and then you boom, draw this, boom. Oh my goodness, it's actually beautiful. You can add some detail, click this little uh, box right here, color here to change the color, seem a little dark. Get a little shade in here. Oh my, God, it's beautiful beautiful look at this beautiful key and then now we got it's a consumable this is like if you use it it will play a script which we're not going to do because this is basics and we got i don't want to blow your mind stackable do you want to be stackable you want to keep it unstackable for uh re weapons anything that's equipable and mostly like quest items so this is like more like just depends on how you'd like the code but just keep it uh, like unstackable for like tools and equipment it's equipable well we're not going to do that because this is for start offs now you craftable. I'm not. We're not doing that. Two items. Yeah. No. 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 Basically, that's it. Click this little save item. We save. Create an item. Items cannot be found on this tab, sadly. But yeah, it's kind of sucks. But now I'm gonna create a chest. Let's do new object. It's gonna be chest. Let's change the size and chest. Up oh, chest. Chest. Let's create a chest. Though, so what do you just model it? You can use this. The small box is to create stuff. Let's just create a base for it. This is what the chest base is going to be. You can use the paint tool to change the color of it. Let's just get a little detail here. These little two strands here. Click this little box here to like turn off the grids so we can see better. This one will turn off the outside grids. I usually just turn off the inside grids to see what it'll look like in game. Then let's just copy this. Use this tool right here. It can like select objects. When you select an object, you cannot use the delete tool to delete it. So, yes, yeah, way to protect on objects. Also, if you select a, a person, but you want to select the rest, you can hold shift to keep the other one still intact. If you don't want to select off, click off of it on the grid and boom. So let's select this part and we can click this right here. There's two papers. It copies it and you can paste it and then we can go up once and then boom. Look at that. Do it again. Copy. Paste. Up to. Also, if you'd like do a lot of like a bunch of it, like this example, this, paste it and go up. It will start to lag if it's like really detailed. I want my this chest looks tall enough for me. Let's add some detail. Let's add a little trim to show like it's it's openable. Look at this little trim. Boom! Look at that chest. And let's add a little lock. Boom! Look at that chest. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness! It's beautiful, my beautiful baby. Let's save that right now. And then we're gonna place down the chest. Chest is gonna be over here in this corner over here. Now we're gonna save. Just I don't know. I saved this early. We have to do interact only to open the chest, which your so depending. So if you place it here, you'll have to open the chest from this angle. But since the front is over here, we're gonna place it, open it from over this angle. Interact only, so you cannot walk through it, but you can interact with the object. But now we gotta write a script to give you said item when you open the chest. So we're gonna do a new script. We're gonna name this chest opened. Chest open, guys. You gotta open the chest. So we'll voice crack went crazy. Chest open. Click OK, and then boom, boom, boom. Display message. We don't really need that. It's, you can like say like, actually, let's just this show you what display message can be used for. I don't think I showed it what this could be used for. Uh, yeah, let's say make it say uh for uh, let's say, you found one key when you open the chest. So it'll pop up, and then let's give item. Give item. I do want to show you something too, for uh this thing right here the script uh get this is like the display message this one and then we have give item this is the one i'm talking about give item so what is item zero zero one i will show you what that is item zero zero one oh 
why is it not showing? Oh, here it is. Okay, whatever. Let's ignore that glitch. Maybe the developers to fix the next update. The game engine. Okay, so this is the ID right here, and that's item 001. So if we create a new item, there'll be a 002. See the difference? That's basically it. So you want us to give the key, so that's going to be it. And then, boom, it's going to give it to you, and that's basically what it is. So it uses the ID and it finds it, but if you use block code, it's just going to show you right here, so it's more easier for new players. And then we also, we so let's show you what happens right now. It's going to be kind of weird. It's so once you open the chest, you can keep uh, keep activating the script. So I'll show you how to only open the chest once. So I'll just show you that now. Let's do this, and then let's open this chest. Okay, I for I forgot a big mistake, you guys. <laughs> you gotta put the script on your chest. Click on the chest right here with the uh this little pencil tool. Click on it, and then click plus scripts. We're gonna do character interact. So that's like when you click on the chest, it'll interact. And then we're gonna do chest open that's the script we created before and then let's go play click quick play boom okay let's go we cannot open this we found one key and we get this but we can just keep on spamming this because it we can keep doing that if we can go to script we want to make this only openable once we have to do remove oh remove and we Okay, we move entity. It will basically move it. So we got this, but we want we don't want to remove herself. That's the player. That's your the character controlling. We're gonna do entity by ID. Click OK, and then now I'll show you how to get an ID. So this right here does not have an ID. So we have to create an ID. Let's go entity properties. Go to the top entity ID. Let's go give it one. Let's give it a new one. Let's give it you suck. That's that's gonna be that that's gonna be the ID. Yippee! You did an ID. Copy that and let's paste it in here. Paste it. I'll uh, click this little wizard if you do. Uh, uh, yeah, click the little wizard and then boom. Do this. Also, you can just paste. We can. I'll just show you. You can do paste it up on here too. But I'm gonna just do it in here. It's faster. And then just don't mess with the rest of this, like this area and these bars. Just don't mess with that. It's fair. No, just don't mess with it. Basically, it doesn't make the code work. And then boom. So we save both of these. And now, I'll show you what it is now. We can interact with it, and boom, it disappears. The chest is, but now you can't walk in this tile. So this is going to be really advanced now. This is for, for people who are mentally, want their game to be absolutely perfect and logical and make a lot of sense. Now, this is going to take a while, but now we're going to do Pat. What is it, Pat? We pl uh, we place. Okay, we. What is it called? I honestly forgot what it's called. Uh, oh, navigation. Wait, what was it called? Modify navigation. Wait, no. We place navigate. No, yeah, it was modify navigation. I'm tripping. My guy, my, my, I made a mistake, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna do with this. Is that's gonna be from tile one? We're gonna do by ID. So. Well, good. So these are like the. Uh, we have to click on the tile you want to connect so we can walk on it so this is we want to walk on these areas we cannot walk on here so we have to connect these all of these tiles have to connect to each other let's get this one code this one's gonna be one this is for simple do not name your id axel one because you may con actually you can do that no one's stopping you technically so i guess you can do that let's name this two and then boom and then this is gonna be walk and interact which is gonna be this green one and save and save so what it's gonna do is when you pick up this out of this chest, these two are going to connect. These two tiles so you can walk on here. But you cannot walk from this direction. So after do this, let's uh, right click, duplicate, and you can drag this over. Now what we're gonna do is we can connect tile two to tile let's skip a number. Let's go to five. Tile five to mess us up. Mess you guys up. Because I I'm, I love messing you guys up. Click on five, boom, and then now that's tile five. So now we connect these two tiles and these three tiles will be connected so you can walk in here. Last one is this tile. We're gonna name this one tile eight, and we're gonna connect eight and two. So let's duplicate and then drag it over, boom, and then we're gonna combine eight and two. So name this eight and do save and then save. And oh, I, f I forgot. Uh, this is not Adobe. I got used to Adobe. But okay, so uh, now uh, we these tiles will connect when you pick it up. I'll show you what I mean. So back then, 
you cannot interact with uh, the ground. You cannot walk over it after you pick up a chest because the navigation will be moved once you place the chest in the editor. But now, I open this, I can walk on these, I can walk on these tiles now. So now it's actually realistic. And that's basically it. That's that's it. You did it. You made an item. You made it a chest. Next tutorial, maybe I'll show you how to make a working door that needs a key. But for right now, that's it. I hope you guys don't explode this weekend. Please live and do not explode this weekend. I repeat, please 